Hey guys, Matt here. This is my review. This is 40. This movie is directed by Judd Apatow. I previously directed all the other Judd Apatow classics like Knocked Up and Super Bad, 40 Old Virgin, stuff like that. And this movie stars Paul Rudd and Leslie Mann. Now this movie is being called the sort of sequel to Knocked Up. Pretty much what that means is like Get Into the Greek was the spin-off to Forgetting Sir Marshall, this movie is a spin-off involving the married couple from Knocked Up. And so I saw the movie, and though I was expecting it to be hilarious and, you know, right up there with Knocked Up, it wasn't really funny. It was actually kind of depressing. It's about a married couple, and how they have kids, and how they are not happy with their lives, and how they're 40 funny, right? Now, this movie is depressing, but it's not as dark and depressing as movies like Revolutionary Road or Rabbit Hole. Those movies are just really, really sad. But this movie isn't a dramedy. It's not like Funny People, where it's more or less a drama with comedy. It, this is like right in between, because there's comedy in it. It's, it's sold as a comedy. But a lot of it's really depressing and sad and just makes you feel really awkward. It's like, oh, comedic part, comedic part, okay, now we're going to make this movie real or we're going to make people screaming at each other and we're going to make it depressing and awkward. There's a scene in the movie towards the end where one of the characters, during a, a fight amongst one of the families, the character actually goes, yeah, this got deeply awkward, so it's time to walk away. I mean... Some of the parts of the movie were actually cringeworthy, because it's, it's like if you weren't laughing, the parts were like slow, and then there would come a fight, or there would become some sort of dysfunction within the family, and you'd be like, wow, this movie got real pretty quick. I mean, I'm kind of glad the movie was like that, because it does help you understand better <laughs> of why Paul Rudd's character and his relationship with his wife the way it was in Knocked Up, but it was like this could have been something different, you know, it could have been actually funny, I wanted to say, oh my gosh, yes, yeah, right up there with, you know, Knocked Up, but it really isn't, it's like a, a sad side story. Granted, you know, the two daughters from Knocked Up are in this, so is uh, two of the people from Knocked Up, uh, Jason Siegel and one of the doctors, but other than that, it was like they tried to put too much into the story, like, Megan Fox is in the movie, but as one of the characters even point out at the end of the movie, it's like, they state that she was just there to look pretty. And that's basically all of, the, all of the reasons she was there for. Then you have this little subplot involving um, Paul Rudd and his dad and Leslie Mann and her father. They're played by Arthur Brooks and John Lithgow. Really, they didn't have to be in the movie. I don't understand why those two actors of their caliber chose to be in this movie because their roles really didn't serve any good. They were just in the movie to make the movie more... Oh my gosh, this, like, their lives suck. That's how sad their story is. And so, it could have done better. Um, this movie did have some bright moments, though. Unfortunately, they were brief. Uh, besides a few comedic parts, Paul Rudd really h held his own in this movie as far as the comedy goes, but I really didn't buy him as, like, the serious father figure. Yeah, there were times where he got along with his girls, but I, I couldn't see his character, you know, ever spending a day with the two girls and being, you know, the fatherly figure. Sure, he loved his wife, and you could see that chemistry, but as far as being the serious dad that would have to discipline his kids or, you know, even do something nice for his daughters, I didn't see that at all. Leslie Mann, on the other hand, she was able to carry the comedic side and the emotional side, so good job on her part. Paul Rudd was funny. His little quips and little, you know, <laughs> jokes that he made, they were funny and they made you laugh. But the best part about this movie, honestly, was Melissa McCarthy. She played the bigger chick from Bridesmaids. She's only in the movie briefly, but her performance was so funny that not only does she steal the scene that she's in, but they also have outtakes at the end of the movie of just her just going on and on. And that was one of the good thing about this movie. Is it seemed like the comedians in this movie had such a good time with their roles that it seemed like most of it was improv. Because, you know, they would say a lot and they would kind of mess up and they would try to cover it with another joke. So, that was good. But, this movie still, it, it was just depressing. Depressing. And after the movie was over, you know, you're kind of like, yikes. I'm glad this movie's over. So, because of that, from rating a 1 to a 5, I'm going to give This Is 40 a 3. It was alright. And it was memorable for Melissa McCarthy's part. But, but that's it, unfortunately. So, 
unless you're a diehard fan of Judd Apatow or Leslie Mann, Paul Rudd, or Melissa McCarthy, I would skip this movie. So until next time, guys, see ya.